Have you ever pondered the intriguing economic history of Macau? Brace yourselves, for we are about to embark on a time-traveling expedition, winding back the hands of time to an era far removed from our own. Picture Macau, not as the glittering global spectacle that it is today, but as a modest, unassuming fishing village tucked away in the protective embrace of China's Guangdong province. Imagine a modest society where the inhabitants are not actors on a global economic stage, rather small-scale fishermen and humble farmers, living a life simply geared towards survival. Their existence was characterized not by wealth and luxury, but by the basic human endeavors of farming and fishing. The thought of Macau being a renowned global hub would have been as foreign to them as their simple lifestyle is to us today. Now, let's paint a more vivid picture of this humble village composed of small huts, closely knit communities, the tinkling sounds the fishermen's nets being cast into the sea, the soft lowing of the farmer's cattle, the rough calluses on the hands that worked tirelessly for survival. The simplicity and scarcity of their lifestyle was a stark contrast to the vibrant cityscape we identify Macau with today. Macau was a world far removed from the neon-lit streets, grandiose casinos, and towering hotels that now define it. The local inhabitants, fishermen and farmers, lived a simple subsistence-based life far removed from the glitz and glamour we associate with Macau today. The turning point of Macau's colorful economic history can be traced back to the intriguing 16th century, specifically when the adventurous Portuguese explorers arrived on this isolated island. In the year 1557, they set forth on the ambitious task of establishing a permanent settlement amidst the humble indigenous population. Like a seed planted in fertile soil, the Portuguese transformed the serene landscape of Macau from a picturesque fishing village resplendent in its simplicity into a teeming metropolis, a bustling port city that hummed with new life, vibrant energy, and flourishing trade. Their impact was not just limited to economic aspects, they also left an indelible mark on the island's culture, architecture, and demographics. As we cautiously edge into the fascinating era of the 17th century, we witness Macau's economic growth not just continue, but surge forward with such great momentum that its echo can still be felt in today's modern world. Yet the very factor that contributed to Macau's unprecedented success, its strategic location at the mouth of the Pearl River Delta, also attracted hungry eyes of competitors. Bitter rivalries ignited and waves of foreign invasions threatened to engulf this thriving port. But Macau was no pushover. Despite facing these daunting challenges and navigating through the rough seas of conflict and competition, Macau held steadfast. The economic torch that was lit in the 16th century continued to burn bright, ensuring that Macau never faded into oblivion. It valiantly held on to its economic relevance and thus its unique place in the annals of global economic history. Despite these challenges, Macau held on to its economic relevance. The 19th century brought about a significant decline in Macau's economic importance. As the world turned the pages of its history, the once thriving port city of Macau found itself grappling with the winds of change that swept across the globe. The root cause of this seismic shift was the First Opium War, a profound conflict that etched its name deeply into the annals of world history. The Opium War was waged between the years of 1839 and 42. It was undeniably a pivotal moment, a key hinge upon which the grand doors of global trade dynamics swung. The war, fueled by conflicting interests and invigorated by the flames of ambition, was a spectacle that the world watched with bated breath. The aftermath of the war brought about an unexpected change on the world map. Hong Kong, then a fledgling port, gradually emerged from the shadows as a prominent player. The British Empire, renowned for its expansive colonial desires, grabbed the opportunity and took possession of Hong Kong as part of the treaty that marked the end of the war. This event was a devastating blow to Macau. The city's economy, which had been flourishing due to its status as a crucial port in the maritime trade routes, was dealt a severe setback. The loss of one of its key roles was indeed a significant blow. But it's important to remember that the story of Macau is not one of unending descent. On the contrary, it's a tale of resilience. The early 20th century was a period of financial stagnation for Macau, an era where progress seemed stagnant and future prospects looked bleak. Though the era seemed defined by its economic hardships, 
The city of Macau showcased its indomitable capacity for endurance, adjusting, innovating, and finding fresh avenues to invigorate its economic standing. One of the key adaptations that surfaced during this period was the sprouting of the textile industry, a significant shift that played out in the mid-1950 SS up to the 1960s. This emergence marked a vital cornerstone for Macau's business community, as textile industry was a beacon of hope during the struggling times. This industry brought with it a significant boost to Macau's economic activity, providing employment opportunities and stimulating professional craftsmanship among the locals. Despite this, the textile industry was only a stepping stone towards greater economic development. The most radical shift in Macau's economic trajectory came in the subsequent decade, the 1970s, with a monumental decision. The legalization and regulation of the gambling industry. This bold move set off an economic explosion within the city's confines. This decision sparked a boom in the city's economy, transforming Macau into a major gambling center. The turn of the millennium brought unprecedented economic growth to Macau. As the calendar flipped to mark the start of a new era, the effects of this transformation were palpable in every corner of this once humble fishing town. The historic city, nestled on the shores of the South China Sea, began to hum with an energy that was nothing short of electrifying. The dawning of the 21st century saw Macau shedding its past and emerging as a dynamic city, teeming with life, color, and a spirit of boundless optimism. As we stepped into the early 2000s, the echoes of the past were gradually drowned out by the cacophony of the present. The tranquil fishing hamlet was no more. In its stead stood a vibrant city, pulsating with life and brimming with opportunity. The unique fusion of Portuguese colonial history and Chinese culture now had a third element added to its rich tapestry, the glittering allure of high-stakes gaming and entertainment. This was the era when major international casinos began to unfurl their banners in Macau. Like moths drawn to a flame, these establishments were attracted by the promise of lucrative revenues and an untapped market. The city was soon nicknamed the Vegas of the East, a testament to its rapid transformation into a global gambling hub. High rollers and casual tourists alike flocked to its neon-lit streets enchanted by its shimmering skyscrapers and the irresistible allure of fortune. Macau was catapulted onto the world stage, attracting millions of tourists annually. The 2010 S bore witness to numerous efforts to diversify the economy of Macau. This former Portuguese colony, nestled on China's southeastern coast, found itself at a crossroads, determined to break free from the shackles of over-reliance on a single industry. The city-state, known for its vibrant nightlife and bustling casinos, decided to take a bold step forward. It sought to broaden its economic base with high hopes and ambitious strategies in place. Venturing into uncharted territories, Macau began to explore new sectors such as finance, a sphere where the city-state had previously shown little to no interest. The government started fostering partnerships with major global financial institutions, paving the way for a more stable and diversified economic future. Another area of focus was real estate, with the city-state investing heavily in both residential and commercial property markets, propelling an unprecedented construction boom. The cultural tourism sector also saw keen interest, aiming to attract a new breed of travelers interested in the city-state's rich history and heritage. Numerous projects were launched, including the restoration of historical sites and the promotion of local art and culture. However, the decade wasn't without its hurdles. The initial years of this economic transformation were met with enthusiasm, but around 2014 the tide began to shift. Macau's GDP hit a high note at approximately $55 billion, but growth began to decelerate in the ensuing years. Change, it seemed, was not without its challenges. The 2020 S brought about new challenges with the COVID-19 pandemic, a worldwide health catastrophe of a scale that had not been seen for centuries. An invisible enemy that seized control of the globe, creating an environment of uncertainty, fear, and despair, it dealt a powerful punch to Macau's economy. Macau, however, a small but resilient administrative region on the southern coast of the People's Republic of China, did not waver in the face of such adversity. Faced with rapidly changing circumstances, Macau adapted and adjusted. As the invisible enemy continued to wreak havoc, 
the people of Macau demonstrated their strength and resilience. Despite the setbacks, they remained undeterred and held on to hope. The once bustling cityscape was replaced with deserted streets, closed shops, and silenced casinos. Yet the spirit of Macau did not dissipate. As the global landscape began to change and travel restrictions were slowly lifted, a sense of normalcy started to return. Tourism, a vital cog in the economic machinery of Macau, gradually picked up. Visitors returned, and slowly but surely, the city started to breathe again. The economy, though beaten and bruised, began to stir. It to show signs of recovery, signs of life. Between 2021 and 2023, amid the remnants of a vicious pandemic, Macau's economy embarked on a steady climb back to stability. Despite the hardships and the pain, Macau rose from the ashes, demonstrating to the world its resilience and determination. It stood as a symbol of hope and perseverance in the face of adversity. From its humble beginnings as a small fishing village, Macau has weathered the storms of change to become a global economic powerhouse. Located on the south coast of China, where the Pearl River meets the South China Sea, Macau was a mere speck on the world map, known only for its fishing industry. Yet its strategic location and willingness to adapt caught the eye of sailors, merchants, and explorers. Over time, Macau transformed into a bustling port city, attracting traders from far and wide. These traders brought with them not just goods, but also concepts of economics, trade, and commerce. Macau's growth was not steady or easy. It was marked by periods of rapid expansion, followed by downturns. But through each challenge, Macau showed resilience, adapting to new situations and turning adversity into opportunity. In the last few decades, Macau's economy has seen exponential growth. The city has channeled its hard-earned wealth into infrastructure, education, and technology, further solidifying position on the global stage. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people, who have shown an impressive ability to bounce back stronger time after time. Today, despite its size, Macau stands tall among giants. It's a testament to the relentless human spirit and the power of adaptation. From a small fishing village to a global economic powerhouse, Macau's journey has been marked by periods of rapid growth, resilience, and adaptation to changing circumstances.